guys, so yes, today I'm going to be doing a, another video for my back to school series. So this is my backpack, it's just a North Face, I used it last year. I was going to get a Bear Bradley backpack this year, which I also had one in my, my 7th grade year, but I never ended up getting one, so I just am using the same one from last year. And yes, this is my backpack. It's just black, obviously, because it's plain and goes with everything. It's great. So in the front little pocket here, I don't have that many things. Um, my backpack is obviously still semi-organized because school has only been in for three days and it's the weekend now. But um, yes, I have this Marc Jacobs little bag and in here I have just things that, it's kind of like an emergency kit in case, you know? So I have um, two perfumes, which I wouldn't normally have, but I just kind of like put this one, I had this one in there already and then I put this one on and then I was like, oh, I want to smell like that all day. So I just threw it in my bag. So, and then I also have some tampons in here because you know, even if you're not on yours, your friend might be and they might forget to bring feminine products and you got them. And then I have some lotion. This is just the Bath and Body Works Love and Sunshine because you never know if your arms are going to be looking ashy and you forgot to put lotion on, you have some. And then I have a little mini hand sanitizer because, ew, germs. Um, some deodorant in case you start smelling a little gross after PE. And then a little travel toothbrush and toothpaste. And then two little chapsticks and a pair of tweezers. I didn't even know that these tweezers were in there, but all right. And then the last thing I have in this front pocket is my calculator, which is so cute. It's purpley pink colored and, you know, I just whipped this out in math, even though I hate it, but yeah. And this year, if you were wondering, I'm taking geometry, so yay. And then in the biggest pocket, so there's only two pockets in this backpack, but it's great, you know, it still holds a lot. Um, in the biggest pocket, I have so much stuff. So, first thing, I have another bag. Um, this bag is literally huge. It's a Too Faced bag that I just got when I bought some palettes from there. And um, it has all of my pencils, pens, and then there's even like some big like markers at the bottom. And then I have some lead and erasers. Um, and then I have these little reinforcement labels because I always rip my pages out of my binder. Um, if I'm just like going by fast, and then I'll rip it out and I'm like, great. Highlighters, everything you need is in this bag. Yes. Okay, and then also in here I have my planner. This is just my Lily Pulitzer planner. And I actually haven't been writing in this as much as I should, but I haven't had any homework yet, so... I mean... So, next in here I have a book. This is Girl Online. I took the cover off of it because I didn't want it to get messed up going in and out of my backpack and possibly get ripped. So, this is by Zoe Sugg or Zoella here on YouTube and I've just started it so I don't really know everything about it yet, but I know that so far it's a really great book and I just, I don't know, I like the concept of it and like the fact that she, a YouTuber wrote it. It's just like amazing. Then I have To Kill a Mockingbird. Yay! I read this in 7th grade. And now I have to read it again in ninth grade, so please pray for me. And then I have a pocket dictionary. There's literally so much stuff in this pocket, but this is just a pocket dictionary. Actually, this isn't a pocket dictionary. This is just the best, best dictionary for students. Um, like I said, my English teacher, if she's like reading something, um, she'll be like, does anyone know what that word means? Does anybody want to get out their pocket dictionary? And if she calls on you and she's like, Gracie, will you get out your pocket dictionary? And you're like, I don't have one. She will give you a zero for the day for participation. So always got to have a pocket dictionary. And then I have this geometry little book. Um, we haven't wrote in it yet, but it's just a workbook that looks like this. And then I have my Spanish notebook. I, this will probably be like half Spanish, half history. I'm actually taking Spanish online, but our computers aren't set up yet. And so our facilitator has been teaching us some things. And then next I have this notebook binder thing. And this is for geometry. And yeah, I can't show you that because it has her information on it. And then I have my little cute little dividers things. This one says blah blah blah. This one says JK, that's not it. This one says your cray cray. And the last one, oh wait JK, I've skipped one. 
And then this one says, don't kill my vibe. So pretty much my line. Next, I have this purple binder, which is my English binder. If you're wondering, I'm in, um, I think I'm in pre-AP English. Yeah, I'm in pre-AP English and geometry. I'm just in regular geometry because my school doesn't offer anything higher than regular geometry. And then I have this blue binder that looks like this. And this is actually not a binder yet. Like, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like... I don't know. But yeah, that's all that's in my backpack. It's completely empty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I had fun filming it because I love, like, I like to talk about school and, like, classes, but I don't like school. But yeah, um, I will talk to you in my next video, which will be Wednesday, and then another one on Sunday, and then another one on Wednesday. But yeah, I'll see you then. Bye!